Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and for the record, that the, this board did meet in executive session to discuss, uh, to have a legal conversation with the solicitor and our project manager and our staff, uh, township staff. I will hand it over to you, Mr. Solicitor. Sure. sure. Uh, you know, we're back to the question we had when we started this is, uh, you know, what's the responsibility here? And our responsibility or your responsibility as commissioners is to award the, the bid to the uh, lowest responsible bidder. Um, and if you're going and, you know, you have discretion to do that, but your discretion uh, has to be based upon sound evidence. Um, from what I've heard here tonight, I've heard a lot of, I've heard some allegations, but I have, <coughs> have not heard any sound evidence that says there is actually something wrong that would make this person not a responsible bidder. Uh, I, we've had our uh, general contractor and our architect who have worked with these folks before uh, and have checked the uh, LNI sites, and there are, uh, they, they aren't banned, they're not on any kind of list that would make them automatically um, not eligible for this contract. I think it's very dangerous for you to um, make um, a finding that somebody is not a um, lowest responsible bidder uh, based on allegations alone, because we don't know, you know what's going to happen with those allegations. Certainly it wouldn't be the first time that somebody was found not guilty after they were alleged of some, that said something against them. So you've got to balance the, um, the idea of protecting um, the, the township dollars with making sure you have a responsible bidder. Um, the second thing I think that you, you know, you've got to keep in mind is that uh, while even, even if you fi <coughs> find that the person is a responsible bidder here tonight, uh, well, what happens as you go forward? There, there's certainly going to be a heightened scrutiny um, that our general contractor is going to put in place, and there's still the LNI department out there to make sure that this doesn't happen into the future. I guess the bottom line that I'm coming back to is I don't know that there's, I don't think that there is evidence that um, the, uh, we, that a court would find as sound evidence. And I think what would happen to you if you found this guy to be this Cooper uh, fellow to be. Um, not a responsible builder based on the record we have before us here tonight, we would probably be in court before the end of the week with an injunction filed by Cooper's people. And the other part that goes along with that, if you give a bid to a higher bidder um, and it's not based upon sound evidence, you have a possibility, even yourselves, of being surcharged for the difference that the taxpayers have to, have to make. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. Thank you, Mr. Solicitor. And I will ask anyone on this board the opportunity. Do you have any further comment before we move forward? There being none, on the agenda, number four is contract awards. I will entertain a motion for number four. Mr. President. Mr. Make a motion to award the general construction contract to E.R. Stubner Incorporated in the amount of $10,168,000, submitting the lowest responsible bid. Second. And seconded by Mr. Siegel. Comment? Discussion? Take the roll, please. Mr. D'Amelio? No. Mr. McCluskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarrity? No. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Uh, number, uh, letter B, motion. Mr. President, make a motion to award the plumbing contract to Stan Roche Plumbing Incorporated in the amount of $578,000, spending the lowest responsible bid. Second. And seconded by Mr. Siegel. Comment or discussion? Take the roll. Mr. D'Amelio? No. Mr. McCluskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mm -hmm. McGarrity? No. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Item number 4C. Mr. President. Yes, Mr. Holmes. 
Mr. President, I move we award the HVAC contract to Guy M. Cooper, Inc., in the amount of $1,255,000, submitting the lowest responsible bid. Second. Seconded by Mr. Siegel. Comment or discussion? Take the roll, please. Mr. D'Amelio? No. Mr. McCloskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? No. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Item number four, letter D, electrical. Mr. President. Mr. Siegel. Motion to award the electrical contract to Phillips Brothers Electrical Contractors in the amount of $1,876,757, submitting the lowest responsible bid. Do I hear a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Oliva. Discussion or comment? There being none, take the roll. Mr. D'Amelio? No. Mr. McCluskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? No. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Item number four, letter E. Fire protection. Mr. President. Mr. Holmes. Mr. President, I move we award the fire protection contract to Guy M. Cooper, Incorporated, in the amount of $220,000, submitting the lowest responsible bid. Do second. I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Siegel. Comments or discussion? There being none, take the roll, please. Mr. D'Amelio? No. Mr. McCluskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? No. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. And Mr. Connell? Yes. Item number 4F, testing and inspections. Mr. President, make a motion to award the testing inspection agency agreement to Geostructures Incorporated for an amount not to exceed $52,800 to be billed on a time and material basis at the rate set forth in their proposal. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Siegel? Discussion or comment? Take the roll, please. Mr. D'Amelio? No. Mr. McCluskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? No. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. And Mr. Connell? Yes. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. President, before we go on, can I play a video? I believe that uh, Lori would like us to see. Uh, is that acceptable? Yep, absolutely. You do want to see that correctly? Yeah. Okay. Um, Ms. Over can join me to describe <laughs> the model that she put together. Sure. So we uh, work three dimensionally. Will you just take the as mic? We, as we, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, we work three dimensionally as we document the building. So uh, this is a 3D model of the documentation of the project that we've taken into a video software so you guys can walk through the building and uh, see what we will have when it's built. Right now we're walking through the entrance to the township level. Hey, there's Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to the left is the outdoor plaza, the memorial plaza. To the right is the uh, meeting room, reception desk. There's Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Easy. Now we're walking down the township corridor where you can see like the finance suite, the code suite to the left, the walk up windows that we'll have. At the gym? Yeah. We can't afford furniture. <laughs> Everybody has to stand. It's a new health care program. Are we going to be circular or straight? It's a slight curve. It's like curve? Yeah. Now we're walking back um, towards the stair that interconnects the township level to the police. This is Lori's favorite spot here in the video. Right over the cliff. <laughs> jump off the end here. It's like going down a fire pole. And there's the, the walk up window for the police level. <clears throat>
rock and roll. Where's the Thank you for that presentation. I had to figure out how to stop it. Just send the screen up. Yeah, but what am I doing other than uh, talking about reimbursement? Yeah, just reimbursement. All you got to do is read that motion. On item number five, we have future borrowing discussion. Mr. Holmes, the finance commissioner. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, we will obviously, the, the next agenda item after this one is our intent resolution where we. Um, uh, indicate is our intent to seek reimbursement from uh, uh, from future indebtedness for any uh, advances that we make uh, with regard to the start of this project. Obviously, the timing uh, with regard to the seasons and starting the work immediately is something we want to undergo. Uh, borrowing in the public market takes us a while, so the process begins with an official intent resolution. With tonight passing this resolution, we can go back six. We can go back several months for any expenditures we've made, and we can go back even farther than that for specific expenditures, um, uh, and reimburse ourselves. Plans for the land, architectural plans. You can go back farther than than 60 days, um, and uh, it is certainly our plan once again to uh, go out to the public market, do general obligation bonds for the township. Uh, we expect them to be bank qualified, which is uh, the lowest the lowest interest rate we can get out there. That's limited to $10 million. Um, and this is consistent with the discussions we've had in the last two years about the staged borrowings we were going to do to pay for these projects. Um, obviously, this is the largest project, um, uh, the combined uh, police and township buildings. So we have money set aside now from the previous uh, bond issue, but uh, we will certainly need the rest of the bond issue that we'll do in 2016 to um, uh, to fund <coughs> this building. Um, so the first step we take tonight is a reimbursement resolution. I'll remind everybody on the board, it is not uh, a borrowing. It is just simply our declaration that if we borrow in the future, we can then uh, reimburse ourselves from those, uh, from those funds. Um, the description of the project is the design, construction, equipping, and furnishing of new facilities for the township municipal administrative offices and police operations, funding the capitalized interest, funding a reserve fund if necessary, and the payment of the costs and expenses related to the issuance of the reimbursement bonds. I will remind everybody in the public, as I said earlier in my conversation, our financial situation here in the township, our financial standing in the financial markets has improved dramatically in the last 10 years. Um, we have, um, we are now uh, instituting um, uh, bidding over the internet for our bonds. So we have gotten the lowest possible prices that any of the municipalities in Pennsylvania have been able to get. We're able to do this with a double A rating yet without the extra cost uh, of bond insurance. Um, and we are well within uh, the electoral debt limit that is set by the uh, state. Um, and as we'll hear in the future from our financial advisor, um, uh, Mr. Cooper, we will, uh, er, uh, we will hear um, that our, all of our debt ratios and all of our debt load per person and have for township are you know, much better than the average in Pennsylvania and that we're really financially sound. So obviously it's my recommendation to the board tonight that we first do uh, pass this resolution, and it will be my recommendation. I'll be coming back to this board in the next several months with the next steps we need to take for purposes of issuing uh, the 2016 bonds uh, to finance this project. Comment? Mr. Holmes, would you please, uh, item number six, would you please read the resolution? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Mr. President, I move we adopt resolution number 2012 of 2016, declaring an official intent with respect to reimbursement from proceeds of bonds, notes, or other indebtedness of temporary advances made for capital expenditures and related matters.
providing for severability and setting forth an effective date. Second. second. I'm sorry, second second. by Mr. Demille, or, no, I'm sorry, seconded by uh, Mr. Oliva. Well, you guys look alike. Mm -hmm. Since one. <laughs> and uh, since it says it in the title, the effective date is today when we act. We only have to do this once. Comment or discussion? There being none, please take the roll. Mr. D'Amelio? No. Mr. McCluskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? No. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Kyle? Yes. Item number seven, library for the Keystone Grant. Mr. President, I make a motion to authorize the township manager to execute the required documents in support of the Keystone Grant application, including a full match of up to $500,000. Second. As you recall, we, we approved this last year uh, when the library came before us for the plans to renovate, that if they applied for the Keystone Grant and were successful, that we would match uh, that grant up to $500,000. Now comes the time. Uh, the grant paperwork just came out from the state after they passed their budget. Uh, the due date is fast approaching, and we need to issue a letter, allow the township manager to issue a letter in support of that so that it can be included with the grant submission. I just have one question. Mr. Lewis? I'm just wondering why we're not applying for more than the 500000 Because that's the limit of the, plan, the of the grant. It said 50% of the total cost of the project. No, that's what it says here. In the no, including, yeah, to execute the required document support of the Keystone grant application, including a full match of up to $500,000. No, but it says 6.75 is the total cost of the project right above it. Yeah, but the, right, but that, this is... That is this, saying 50% of the total cost of the project can't be more than 50% of the total cost of the but project. But the maximum grant we can receive is 500000 So that's the maximum. That's, right. that's correct. Okay. Mr. Wexler. And there's no guarantee that we'll get that, but right, we'll but that's match the up for that. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. There being no further discussion. Well, Ms. Did, Ms. Bill, did you say that you that we agreed to this last year? Is that what yes, we did. Okay. We're just authorizing Mr. Gentile to execute the documents at this point. Anything further? Please take the roll. Mr. D'Amelio? Yes. Mr. McCluskey? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Oliva? Yes. And Mr. Connell? Yes. Okay. Gentlemen, is there anything further for the better of the board? I'll take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Thank you. Second.